Hello guys, have you ever tried to create realistic drawings with colored pencils and your painting came out messy and dirty and all you wanted was to do a clean and smooth layer of painting? If this happens to you, it's probably because you haven't mastered the techniques for a beautiful painting yet or you still don't know how to blend and mix the layers using colored pencils. If it happens to you, today I'm going to give you a complete guide on how to paint using colored pencils and more, I'll also show you how you can mix your colored pencil drawings like a pro. Until the end of this video, you know everything about it and see how you can be so easy. So grab your pencils, today I'm going to show you how to blend and paint using colored pencils even if you are a beginner. In the last tutorial, I showed you how to draw drops of water step by step. I'll leave the link to that video in the description below so you can watch it. If you don't know me, I'm Lino, I'm a graphite and colored pencil drawing artist from Brazil and I've created this channel here to help you to create realistic drawings. So if you like this type of art, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like and if you want more information about me, click here in the first link of the description. Today I have so many cool things to show you so let's get straight to the video. I'm going to start talking about what not to do. I'm going to take three random colors here to paint and I'm going to make a transition between one layer and the other. I'll show you the wrong way to paint first. The first mistake when painting your realistic drawing is to create streaky random lines. If you really want to learn how to do a smooth and clean paint, you need to stop creating lines that don't bring a good look to your drawing. Notice how many hard and thick lines I did. This is very common among beginners. Just by looking at many drawings, I can see that the layer was poorly done. Thought T was just done with lines so far from each other. Now I will take a green pencil to try to continue the layer and you will see how it will remain dirty and won't look homogeneous. Another very common mistake that is noticed at first in this painting is that the white of the background paper appears. To paint a realistic drawing you need to know how is the right way to fill in your drawing layer the layer of painting so that these white spaces between each of the lines, for example a blue line here and right next to it has another blue line but between them a little of the paper is still showing through or we are able to see whole white of the paper. So in this example the square is being filled badly. Another problem is how much pressure you apply to the pencil. You can see how the transition from blue to green is very hard and it isn't smooth at all. Also the blue lines are so intense, going to the green layer we couldn't blend and even if we apply as much pressure as we can. The green and the blue won't fuse together. So, when you are going to do the transition from one color to another you need to press your hand lightly on the paper, so that you can make it very clear and when you start another layer of another color, you can create a very smooth transition between both layers, pressing the pencil very lightly at the end of the gradient. That's exactly what's not happening here, it's not getting any smoother. The next mistake is the time spent layering. When you paint the layer like that, very fast, it's probably already wrong. As in my case, I did this painting in just 2 minutes. This is the main mistake. If you dedicate yourself more to this process, it will take so much longer than just 2 minutes. So keep in mind how long it took you to do this. I will show you the differences between that first example and the next ones. Because now, we are going to paint in a much more professional way using the pencils and as a bonus you will know how to blend them correctly. But before that, if you want to learn how to create colored pencil drawings and graphite drawings, I recommend you checking out the first link of the description or just click on the joy button below this video. The first method that I'm going to show you will already help you to make a wonderful painting, an incredible painting. So get your art supplies and let's get started. I'll show you the main steps that you have to go through and how to do it in practice. For this next example, let's try to get rid of laziness. I know it can be difficult to get rid of laziness, but one thing I'm sure I'm a lot lazier than you and if I can do it, so can you. But let's pay attention to the mistakes that I mentioned to you in the first example. The first mistake was to make random lines. Let's keep doing that, but this time it will be much less. We will focus on the divisions that keep appearing on the background paper. So let's try to fill as much as possible in these divisions because if we can fill in the whole square, we will solve the second problem, which is the background paper showing. We call it uniform painting, for those who don't know what uniform means, that it doesn't vary its form, manner, degree, intensity, etc. Regular, omni-mode, well I'd say a well done layer. The next problem is the lightness of the pressure of the hand on the paper, remembering that you can't press too hard when making the transition. When we make it lighter to start the next color that will be filled in and that's exactly what we're trying to do here now. I do a lighter layer as I go to the right. In this case, the more to the right, I apply less pressure to the pencil. 
The idea here is not to let those hot pencil strokes appear as in the first example. Unlike the graphite drawing, in colored pencil drawings, we do not blend using the blending stumps or other supplies like the tissue, or at least I don't use them, and so wax works differently. For blending, we only need to use the pressure of the pencil. There are other ways, but this is the simplest. Try to apply more pressure to the pencil in the lighter areas, so the pigments blend together. Now, I'm going to paint with the red, and we're going to press very hard, but when we go to the transition area, we press even less so it doesn't get dirty. Then will come with the pencil around the other areas to mix with this current color and we press more. This way you will mix the pigments better. Look how much more professional it was compared to the first attempt we made. I sped up the video and the minutes so you can have an idea of how many minutes I spent to make this painting more homogeneous and much cleaner. And that was the time I spent, it took me 14 minutes. And look the big difference between 2 minutes and 14 minutes to make a good painting. So this was the result we got with this amount of time. But now there's another level that you can reach. It's optional, but now you have to ask yourself, do I want to be a good artist or an exceptional artist? Above average, reach my full potential in realistic colored pencils. If that's your case, you're not just going to do a simple painting. You're going to do a painting that is totally well crafted and well built down to the smallest details and that's exactly the second method that I'm going to show you this method takes longer but it's also the method that I use for my drawings to make them look amazing very homogeneous and very realistic so if you want to become a world-class artist it's important that you make your paintings look realistic and very homogeneous to a millimeter level that's exactly what I'm going to show you now so here we go to start we are going to fill in exactly the areas that will have the most intense color so we are going to paint the same as in the previous example. But before that, one thing I recommend doing first is to make a light line in the part where the transitions will be. Because that way we'll know exactly where to stop painting, where to start the gradient and transition between the different colors. After having filled in everything inside the most intense color, we will create a smooth transition. And now everything will change, we will stop doing random lines as we did before and we will make circular motions with the hand, with the perfect pressure applied to the pencil. By doing that, we are able to mix the pigments and also get into creases of the paper creating a nice and smooth layer. Another cool tip is where you hold the pencil. As you go to the lighter area, hold the pencil on the top to avoid dark lines and avoid applying more pressure to the pencil. Now with a green, we are going to do the exact same thing and create the most intense color first. Then we will create a transition in circular motions and applying light pressure as we go towards the red paint layer. One important thing that I didn't tell you at the beginning of the video is that your pencil lash should always be very sharp because with a sharpened pencil you make sure to get into the creases of the paper making it more homogeneous, smooth and cleaner. Look how it turned out. Now all we'll do is repeat the same process with the next color in the most intense part and create a smooth layer for the gradient. Just like we did with these last two colors. As I move my way out of the most intense part of the layer, I'll mix these lines making a darker gradient close to it. As I go to the left, where it will mix with green, I'll let it light blue so that it's easier to mix with the green. And that's exactly the last step. We're going to paint using the green and with the pencil very nice and sharp as we go in circular motions. And look how it turned out. This layer took much longer, 40 minutes to finish. I think the title of this video should be The Power of Patience. See how it made all the difference to take more time doing this pencil paint. 
So starting today, spend more time with your drawings and you will see the transformation that this will make in your drawings. So what do you think of these techniques that I showed you? Pretty cool, right? Now you will no longer make those mistakes shown in the video. Use one of these two ways to paint. And if you want to be a gold level artist, do that second technique. It will be much better and your drawings will get to that other level. And if you like this type of content, this type of video related to realistic drawings, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you've come this far, I can see that you're really trying to improve your drawing skills. So click on the first link of the description or click join on the button below this video if you want to learn realistic drawings with me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!